This video is also in continuation with the previous two videos, which if you haven't watched, then go and check out. You'll also find it in the i button at the top right corner of this video. Now, coming back to this video, this is the third part of the How Big a Planet Can Get series, in which we are going to discuss our third and final question, which is how big a gaseous planet can get. Can it be as big as a star? Well, there's a large difference between a planet and a star, but some planets can be significantly larger than anything we find in our own solar system. In our solar system, Jupiter is the largest planet we have. If you get too much mass together in a single object, then its core will fuse lighter elements into heavier ones because of its own immense gravity. At about 80 times the mass of Jupiter, you'll have a true star burning hydrogen into helium. But lower than that, at about 14 times the mass of Jupiter, you'll initiate a deuterium fusion, where leftover fuel from the Big Bang slowly self-generates its own energy. This line between a gas giant and a brown dwarf defines the most massive planet. Planetary size peaks at a mass between that of Saturn and Jupiter, with heavier and heavier worlds getting smaller until true nuclear fusion ignites and a star is born. In terms of physical size, however, brown dwarfs are actually smaller than the largest gas giants. The exoplanet Kepler-39b is one of the most massive ones known, at 18 times the mass of Jupiter, placing it right on the border between the planet and a brown dwarf. In terms of radius, however, it's only 22% larger than Jupiter. But if we add more mass to Kepler-39b to make it a brown dwarf, then the atoms inside this large planet will begin to compress so severely that adding more mass will actually shrink it. This whole thing happens in our own solar system. Jupiter may be the largest and most massive planet, but adding more mass to it would only make it smaller, explaining why it is three times Saturn's mass, but only 20% physically larger. But many solar systems have planets made out of much lighter elements, without large rocky cores inside. Planets that formed with fewer heavy elements can be a lot larger and less dense than Jupiter. WASP-17b is one of the largest planets confirmed not to be a brown dwarf. Discovered in 2009, it is twice the radius of Jupiter but only 48.6% of its mass. Many other puffy planets are comparably large but none are yet significantly larger. As a result, the largest planets can be up to twice as big as Jupiter before becoming a star. So again, no, a gaseous planet cannot be as big as a star. So, this is all for this series, but we have way more interesting topics and questions about space and universe, which will come in the upcoming videos. So, stay tuned with us. Now, if you want to stay updated about the space, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. So, that's all for this video. And thanks for watching. See you next time.